Welcome guys, in this video we are going to see post formats and using post formats we can add custom content. So we added here quotes, so here a quote I added here so we can customize it as you want. We added a gallery and also a, a side. So these, if I go to WordPress website we have the post formats here and if the, you go to the list we have more option even. We have a side gallery link image quote status video audio and chat these options you can add so we are going to see the aside gallery and quote so let's get started so in custom theme when you want to add these post formats you need to go into the functions.php so in our project the application we are creating we have the functions.php and here I have a function called add features to the theme in this function I'm going to add the post format so we are going to add a comment here uh, add post formats uh, support all right and when you add it simply the you say add theme underscore support and what do you want to do you want to uh, say post formats and then you are going to provide an array. Now array is going to have the options as the name of these post formats. So if I want a side, I will copy the name and I will put here. All right, and the second value going to be, uh, we want gallery there. So I pause in there. And third, I want a quote, pause in here. And that's it. Now, once you have it in functions.php to check, we go to dashboard, then we go to posts and here I'm going to edit any post or you can click on add new post. Now, when you go in the right side here, you will see post formats currently selected standard. If you click here, you will get the options. We have a side gallery code, the three we enabled in our functions.php just here. So now let's add a side first. Let's do this. I'm going to add a new post and here I'm going to say uh, side and I say so have it. Okay, now I'm going to say publish, publish. If I go to the main blog page here, refresh, you, we have it on the top and it's just looking the same as the posts here. Now to load the post format as we created the aside here uh, what we need to do we need to go into our code where we are lo loading all these posts so this is the blog page so blog page is powered by index.php so we need to go there and when you go there you will see the we are having a loop here which is displaying the posts and we have get template part used here so get template part going to take an argument here so i'm going to say here uh, get underscore post underscore format all right now once you pass this it is going to load the post format for us now if i go here and refresh nothing going to change because uh currently we are just displaying it the same way it's this we are not saying anything different so if you want to show it differently the way we did here so we need to add some classes for this particular uh, post so what we can do here when this function fires it is going to look for a file which is going to be we can call this file uh, content dash aside all right dot php now we have content dash aside and aside is the post format and here i'm going to say uh from save this and going to go here and refresh you will see we have only that text showing up there so basically we created a separate file for it and when we are looping through uh, get post format is looking for that particular file so the first name is here content so uh, the content file and the second is the uh, post format so we have content aside dot php now here currently i have this i don't want this i want to show the post so what i do i'm going to create here 
article tag and to target it we can assign it the class and here we can show our content as we would like so here i say p tag and inside p tag i want a, a get the excerpt this is a function we want to use if you want to now we have this class here so we can style it so i go to style.css now and i'm going to uh put some css here so i'm just going to copy paste css here so just like that so we have article and class post aside and we are just passing some css so if i go here now and refresh you can see that we have our content looking like the way it was looking here uh, we have the excerpt we have the excerpt length a bit more but the concept is that you have your content showing as you like now if you want to show the author name and that you can do that so for example if i go to the uh, content.php we have here the uh, post content and here the div per post meta so i'm going to copy this div from here i'm gonna go into the content aside and here i can put this div and this is going to show us the author name and all the details now you can customize this as you like if you want it's different from there as it is showing here so you can do that if you want to so let's do that i'm going to remove on and just the author and category name is enough i think so i'm going to just on here and i'm going to remove that save this and refresh all right it's look better now here the code is not in that correctly so i'm going to correct it so here our code looks good good indentation so basically when you write your code make sure you also structure it well so it is easy to read now our uh if we go to functions.php and the second is gallery so let's work on gallery now now to add the gallery i'm again going to go into the admin area and here i'm going to create a brand new post so i'm going to give it the name of gallery and here i'm going to click on plus and i'm going to click on the gallery i click on upload and then i go to the i have a few images here i'm going to select these so it is just i just added the images and uh, wordpress is adjusting the images all by itself so I just simply uh, here on the right side i go to post format and there i'm going to select gallery and i'm going to click publish and then i go to the posts page and refresh the page so we have the post gallery showing up here now if you want to customize it and if you guessed it right the same way we did content aside we need to do content gallery so we need to create this file here so it's going to be content so you can see that if i say gallery here save the file refresh here i get gallery so it's totally coming from there so what i'm going to do i'm going to get the uh, this from here i'm just going to copy this from the content aside and going to put in the content gallery here and let's see what happens so if i go here and refresh so here we don't have any content coming this is coming from content aside and this is from content uh, gallery so to display the gallery we need to use the content so currently if i go here if you remember we used echo and get the excerpt instead this i'm going to remove p tags here and here i'm going to say the underscore content simply and when you do this it's going to display the images so refresh you can see that we have images showing up now these are overlapping because the content aside and content gallery is get together there so what we can do here we can put an hr here so it's going to Put some difference there you can see that now you can customize it as you want you can change the style for now what i do is simply go and inspect here and i'm going to add a title and i want to change the background color so i'm going to change the background color to let's say blue so like this something like this all right so we have this color now so i'm going to copy this and we go to the styles and in the style where we have the aside i'm gonna paste this and this time uh, this is going to be gallery 
all right and the color we have different here now this class we don't have it so we need to add it there so let's save this here i go to content gallery there we have the class post design here i'm going to change the class to post gallery and this is going to change the uh, background now i want the title so what i can do simply here i'm going to call tag is not open correctly so i add this save this and go here now we have our gallery here so we can style it a bit so i'm going to uh going to give it a class so i'm going to call it class post dash gallery dash title so that it's going to affect on only this one so refresh here we have a class i'm going to add it here and i want to say font that that's just fine so that's the title we want i'm going to copy this style i'm going to go into style css here and i'm going to paste it here all right so uh, we can put article in front of it as well as it is inside article wrong so it's article then inside article so refresh our styles is there so in case you want to adjust the layout of this gallery in that case you just go to edit post click on the gallery you will get the columns option you can adjust the columns here as you like however you want to show your a gallery too so you can adjust that way so i'm not going to change currently this because we need to add another poor uh, post so i go to the dashboard and here i'm going to add another post and here uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the content from here so i'm just going to copy some content for our test and here i'm going to paste this all right now I'm going to select and post, then post formats. I go and select quote and I say publish, publish. Now if I go to the front page here and refresh, we get our post the same similar way, the way we have our posts. So we need to create another file if, if you guessed it right. The same way we created content gallery, content aside, uh, we need to create the content uh, for quote uh, file. So here I create this. So I say content.php. Now here I say hello. And it should be showing up there. So I go to the post here, refresh, hello. So I want to show the content here. So I'm just going to, first of all, I'm going to go in aside to save time. And I'm going to copy everything. And I'm going to paste in quote. I don't want to show the author details here. So I'm going to remove this tape. And we have the excerpt currently. So if I refresh here, we have this chain or something like this. I want to show the content, the full. So the underscore content function from the WordPress. So we are going to use this, refresh. So we have our content showing up just fine. Now you can adjust it as you like. So what I want to do, I want to say here uh, the quote, uh, post dash quote, just it as we want so we've simply going to edit here and here currently it says aside so i select this and i'm going to add it here and there we can say target to the p tag because the content going to generate p tag and we have it here so simply i'm going to say 10 pixel maybe 15 now i'm gonna copy and paste this to the style file so i'm gonna add here and then i want to change its background as well so i capture this and as a background text align center all right and that's it so i'm gonna just copy this and paste here and we can put an article in front of it so that so it's going to be like this there shouldn't be space because if it is there is space it's going to find it like a child so now if i go here and refresh we have our quote so you can see that we added three elements here gallery and aside as well as quote now the post formats are here but there is one thing that we need to be careful about so 
currently if this is index.php where we are seeing the post formats like this now if i for example uh, we have gallery pay post so if i say here gallery and i hit search we get it like this and when i click here you will see that in single page it's looking like this so to display the same way as it is in the index.php we need to make sure that we are passing the post formats wherever we use the get template part when wherever we want to see the same way so what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy this so we have a few pages where we need to uh, update this so search.php if you see here we have the template parsing like this so here i'm going to pass this and the single.php which is responsible for single posts so here i'm going to put this we need to add it in archive uh, which is responsible for categories and authors so i go to archive and i paste it here so you get the idea now it is going to display and uh, in those pages correctly as well so if i go here and refresh and now if i go to search and hit gallery so we get gallery looking better now if i hit uh let's say if i go back here and i want to go for coding and here you still see now we are in archive page post from coding category and we still have our uh, content showing just fine the way it is now it is all it is displaying all three because if you uh, go into the posts here and if you notice these all all this gallery aside and code we added both all three has the coding category so if you want to remove one of these you can change the category so if i uh, change category here to general update go here and refresh so that goes away because that is not in this category so this is how it works and I'll